Hi everyone, my name is Larry Glenz, and I am a ordained minister for a church called Pathways of Light, which is a uh, global church without walls that's based on the path of A Course in Miracles. So for me, my, uh, my initiation to A Course in Miracles came in 1994, 20, 24 years ago, um, when I was going through a divorce, and I was having a tough time with that, and um, a friend of mine handed me a tape, uh, an audio tape, of Marianne Williamson's book, uh, Return to Love. Now, at the time, I was an agnostic from my teenage years, and at this time, I'm, I was 43 years old, and um, it seemed strange to me that anybody would hand me a, uh, a tape like A Return to Love by Marianne Williamson, but he said he was a friend, and he said that uh, it had helped somebody else, and maybe it was just what I needed. And it seemed like it was. I, I couldn't stop listening to it. And then shortly afterwards, I, uh, my friend and I went into, this, into New York City. I live outside New York City. And we went in to see Marianne Williamson, and it was then that we, we bought um, the books of A Course in Miracles. That began for me a 12-year period of self-study. Despite the fact that I was agnostic before that, this, this um, spiritual path captured my heart, and I, I became devoted to the workbook of A Course in Miracles and started to read the text in the manual for teachers as well, but it was the workbook that I um, had disciplined myself to do the lessons. And um, for 12 years, I, it seems like I never put the book down. And I knew I was changing. I knew it was changing me. It was changing my thought process. It was teaching me how to go to Holy Spirit for guidance and to put him in charge of my life. And um, it wasn't really until uh, 2006 that I found Pathways of Light online and they offered uh, minister training courses of which I really wasn't interested, and they also offered uh, miracles practitioner courses, which were on a course of miracles. And somehow I ordered the minister training courses, kind of by accident, and uh, I started taking them, and I wound up, I wound up becoming a, an, a reverend for Pathways of Light. And it was also during this time that my son Kevin. Uh, my beautiful boy became a, a heroin addict, which is a nightmare for any parent. And I was, I was being trained to take all my fears to, to Holy Spirit. And so I kept a journal. It was a seven-year ordeal before my son passed from his last relapse and overdosed and died. And during those seven years, I was, I was studying A Course in Miracles through Pathways of Light, really. And I was keeping a journal. And uh, when he passed, I started writing a book because nobody could figure out how a fine young man like Kevin Glenn's was, would die as a heroin addict. And I felt I felt it pouring out of me that I had to write it down. And I had never written a book before or since, but uh, this one flowed right out of me. And um, so I self-published the book. I didn't promote it. I handed it out for free, but it, it, it took on a life, a life of its own. And people started passing it around. And um, from the book, I started to I started to get invitations to speak. And having been a, a high school history teacher for 36 years and, a, and a, 
an athletic coach, I had a lot of experience in speaking to, to high school kids. And so uh, that began um, my career as a, as a motivational speaker on the, on the heroin epidemic that has taken so many lives in our country here at the United, in, in, um, in the United States. And so I, I started speaking, and then I became a, uh, a speaking representative for Pathways of Light at A Course in Miracles conferences. So sometimes I was speaking on the heroin epidemic, and sometimes I was speaking about A Course in Miracles. And my, my non-traditional ministry kind of evolved from that. Uh, certainly, I was speaking to many people one-on-one -on -one who had lost their child, usually lost their child from, from a similar drug overdose or, or maybe just from anything. But um, I became a counselor for many people that were in grief. And I was doing a weekly A Course in Miracles study group in my house. And I became active in Al-Anon, which is the 12-step program for the families of uh, alcoholics and, and addicts. And somehow my, my non-traditional ministry evolved that way. Um, to this day, I try to teach people how to put Holy Spirit in charge of everything. And my book, Forgiving Kevin, that... Um, that's all about going to Holy Spirit during the toughest times of your life. I can say that um, the excerpt from A Course in Miracles that has been most valuable to me is lesson, the last lesson, lesson 361 to 365, which says this holy instant would I give to you. Be you in charge. For I will follow you, certain that your direction will bring me peace. And so now as a, a Pathways of Light minister, I try to help people to learn how to go to Holy Spirit for guidance. And the whole process is, seems to have given me great strength. And I appreciate you listening. Thank you.